There are a ton of queso recipes out there, but this is gonna be your go-to. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are making the easiest queso in one pot that you can use to make nachos, use it as a dip, or on your favorite foods. So I already have all of my ingredients laid out. We're gonna move over to the stove and I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make this delicious queso. Okay, so we're gonna do like a medium, just a medium heat, throwing a little avocado oil because we are gonna saute our onions and jalapenos first. Our onions are nice and translucent, so we're gonna toss in our half and half. You can also use heavy cream or evaporated milk. So I'll go ahead and toss that right in. And at this point, we can go ahead and season it. So we're gonna start with some cumin. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave the full recipe for you guys. So you guys have the exact measurements. We have some paprika. And none of, this, none of these have salt, so you don't really have to worry too much about it. It's just gonna give it more flavor. But if, like I'm using garlic powder, if you're using garlic salt, then you definitely wanna be careful or else you're gonna end up with like a really salty queso. And some onion powder. Okay, so we have our sharp cheddar cheese here. Now, I will say, please make sure you use the block of cheese because the pre-shredded cheese has starch in it. So it will change, completely change the taste and the, not the taste, it will change the consistency of the final product, okay? So I've already diced it up. We're gonna toss it in and then we're gonna add in our tomatoes once this is melted. Okay, so our last ingredient is tomato. Now I have fresh tomato and I have rotel. You can use all rotel or all fresh tomato. I'm doing half and half because it's what I have on hand, but you can do whatever you have on hand. They will both work and they will turn out just great. Making homemade queso is literally the easiest thing and you can make so many delicious things with it. So I've given it a little taste test. Look at this consistency though, first of all. Looks beautiful, perfect. Like <laughs> less than five minutes, this entire thing comes together. Um, but I gave it a taste, it needs a little bit of salt. So that's the thing, you know, some cheeses can be saltier than others. So just make sure you wait until the end to do your salt. We're gonna do a little salt, then just finish it off with pepper and serve. mix just to make sure everything's well incorporated and we're set we're making low carb chips so these are the ones that i use i'll leave them linked in the description below i do have a discount code which is low carb love and um, you guys can enjoy some chips like the real deal so i like my chips a little bit bigger this is all personal preference like if you want them really tiny or whatever the case then you're gonna do that I just feel like it's easier like for dipping, you know, like you get more. <laughs> so um, I'm just cutting them in four. I have some avocado oil already frying. We're gonna do like a little shallow fry and they're gonna get nice and crispy. So let's go ahead and move over, get these fried and then hopefully our dip will be done by then. Okay, so our oil is nice and hot. Remember, I'm using some avocado oil. You can use coconut, um, but those are probably the only two that I would do. Um, because olive oil will burn. It'll burn it. It doesn't have a high smoking point. Olive oil, avocado oil has like almost a 500 degree smoking point. And once you are frying them, you don't want to overcrowd your, your pan so that they get nice and crispy and just like the perfect texture. Because if not, you're going to have some that have like little gummy pieces. And like at the end of the day with a chip, you want it to be nice and crispy. So I'm just going to go ahead and let these get like a nice golden brown color. We're gonna finish up the batch and then we'll move over and get our dip out. So I'm just pouring our queso right onto our dish. Ooh, look at that. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna top it off with a little cilantro just for that color contrast. It looks really beautiful. And I mean, cilantro and queso just go hand in hand. So 
Now for our dipping, again, I mentioned you can do any veggie or the low carb chips or even just like your favorite chips. I just do low carb. Um, and I do have these tortillas. I'll leave them linked in the description below for you. And you can make yourself homemade chips that taste like the real deal. These have, I think, three net carbs per tortilla or veggies. So it re it's just really up to you. Your, it's personal preference at this point. The queso is gonna taste delicious either way. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in for the taste test, get a little bit of everything. You can even top it off with like a little cayenne just for some spice. Mmm. Oh my God. Chipotle vibes all the way. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, you have to see this consistency. Like it's just nice and thick and creamy. It's just perfect, perfect. And it's done so quickly all in one pot. And you can make a huge batch if it's for a party, family gathering, you know, just for anything that revolves around queso. Like if you wanna have nacho night, just make a huge tub. You can make like a whole platter of it. So many different options, but as a dip, it works amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget, share this recipe along with the channel with friends and your family that's living a low carb lifestyle or that you just know are trying to make healthier choices in their life. Thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.